Okay, in this lesson, you want to create this project that we use a 3D text and assign a 3D text and assign the two effector, a spline effector and a plane effector to the 3D text. And you learn another interesting tag that you can uh, uh, assign um, your fields or, or effector on any pass, on any, any circle, any spline that you want, such as this. As you can see, the fields are moving uh, tangential to that circle to creating such interesting effects. So let's do that. Okay, let's begin. We can uh, create a circular spline, change its plane to this direction. Then you can make it a bigger. And here, we want to use a 3D text. In this 3D text, you can assign any effector to the word, letter. So you can use the uh, uh, move spline effector. In a past version, in the previous version of the Cinema 4D, this 3D text called mutex that you can. Okay, in a text, in an object, you can type any uh, thing that you want. Okay, we type total real cells dot com. Click anywhere to sign it. And I want to uh, place this text on this circle, on this <clears throat> spline. So. You learned before that for doing such these works, you have to use a spline, what is that? A spline effector. For assigning the spline effector, uh, you have to tell the software first, begin that, bring that, tell the text in which uh, segments of that text do you want to assign that. You all text, all the paragraph, you can drag and drop it here or the line text or in each word or in each letter it means t u t o dot so click and drag a spline to the dot and in a spline effector you have to define okay you assign this text to align to the this spline which spline do you want to do that click and drag a spline that. and as you can see it's create here and here you have to change up vector to the one now it's being correct but <clears throat> as you can see its direction is not correct but we want to make this direction you can play with the parameter or anything that you want to make it correct or if you want you can use another way here you can change it to the 90 and everything as you can is correct or you can use another effector to doing that. Another effector in the text, you can assign a uh, plane effector. As you can see, the plane effector bring all of things uh, uh, on a, in the y-axis. So as you can see, it's placed after the spline. The hierarchy is important. First, second, third, any execute the last one so go into the plane effector no i don't want to change the position i want to change the rotation now here you can change another way to changing the alignment of that okay and in the fields i create a, as you can see a <clears throat> plane effector but as you can see the plane effector is not in a good direction i want to move this plane effector along this uh along this circle you can go to the circle and make a radius a little down yeah that's nice okay so another interesting tool in a cinema 4d tag that i won't explain all of them but uh i have to explain some of them before you can use the animation tag aligned to the spline you uh, assign this tag to this uh, effector that you want to align. i want to do this effector this plane effector 
move along this circle. So you assign this tag and this tag assigned to the plane. And this tag tell you which spline do you want to uh, this effect here, move on this circle. And as you can see, it's going in a circle. And you can change its position. Oh, as you can see, another problem happened because we changed the axis of that plane effector. So, in this situation, the problem is that you have to assign that uh, this tag to the, this linear field, not the field. So, pay attention to that. Now, the circle, and here you can change the position of that. But as you can see, the direction of, of the that uh, plane effector is not uh, tangent to the, this circle. So it's very simple, tangential. And everything is done. As you can see, it's being correct. And you can change the axis of that spline to make it more correct. Nice. Nice. As you can see, you can create such an interesting works with that. Nice. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.